Hello friends, welcome to Right Clicks with Saravana. 8th March, every year we celebrate International Women's Day. You know, on this 8th March, I was thinking about a woman. Her name is Catherine Johnson. She has been awarded by President Obama with Presidential Medal of Freedom. That's the America's highest honor for any civilian. In 2019, the United States Congress, so they awarded her a Congressional Gold Medal. In 2020, she was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. In 2016, there was a very popular movie based on her story. That's Hidden Figures. In the America's space agency, NASA's research complex, a computational research facility has been set up in her name. So who is Katherine Johnson? Friends, in 1950s, there were no computers. So the uh, America's National Space Agency, NASA, was engaging some uh, people to manually calculate maths. It was very hard to do that. So they were called as actually computers, right? So there were many black women, African-American women engaged by NASA and they were all called computers. One of them was Katherine Johnson. You know, at that time, there was a space race happening uh, between US and the then Soviet Union. Soviet Union at that time had a lead by launching the world's first Earth satellite Sputnik in 1957. In 1961, Soviet Union could send the first ever human being into the space orbit, Yuri Gagarin in 1961. So the US was in tremendous pressure, okay? They really wanted to send a human into the orbit. So they were trying hard. There were many issues that were happening and they were trying to get IBM computers for the first time to help in calculating the trajectories and all. So Catherine was a child prodigy. She was all into mathematics. So she was there helping the NASA team. But you know, she was the only woman available there. The today's USA is different. But in 1950s, there was the racism was at its uh, height. So she had to fight against racism and sexism and then establish her name. But you know, her dedication and her mathematical skills were found to be really, really very useful in calculating the exact trajectory uh, which will help to bring the man, you know, who has been sent in the orbit safely down to the earth. That was the challenge. So Catherine was of really a great help based on her mathematical calculations in sending the first ever American astronaut into the orbit. So he was John Glenn that happened in 1962 later he became US senator and all. So the John Glenn was depending more on Catherine rather than on computer calculations. So that was the kind of reputation she had at that time. Later in 1969, America could send a satellite to land in moon. That was Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong was the first human to touch the moon and come back safe, safely. So Catherine's role was considered to be very, very critical in all these uh, activities of NASA at that time. So she has been awarded with all highest possible awards of America. So friends, the takeaways. You know, Catherine Johnson from a humble background but had a tremendous ability in maths. She has been a child prodigy. But it was not a smooth journey for her, even in US. She had to fight against the racism and sexism and she could really prove her mettle there and she really could contribute, uh, you know, to the U.S. in winning the space race against Soviet Union. 
So friends, that's all about Catherine Johnson. She has been a great woman, contributed to the America's space uh, agency in a big way. And she has been rightly awarded with so many awards also. Catherine Johnson is the woman I thought you all should be knowing about on this occasion of International Women's Day. I am sure you must have liked this video friends. Till I see you next week. Bye-bye.